Welcome to the Wall Beds and More installation video. This video was designed to show professional installers how to assemble the different styles of wall beds sold here at Wall Beds and More. You should have already opened up the packaging before leaving the warehouse, making sure you have all of the correct components necessary for the installation of this wall bed. Also, make sure you have all of the hardware you need for the assembly process. The hardware packet should include four hinge plates, your hinge bushings, the hinge bolts, two truyons, and 22 lag bolts. Also, two bearers, two locking pins and screws. You should also receive two cotter pins and two cotter keys. In addition to that, you'll have a four millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, now we're ready to begin the assembly of a hidden bed. Let's start off with point one, the cabinet assembly. Set up the lever arm assemblies on the side panels by first cutting the ties that hold them into position. Then go ahead and rotate the arms up to the upper position by connecting the loose ends of the piston to the bracket on the bottom of the leg. You do this with the cotter pins and cotter key that is provided. Secure the cotter pin by bending the ends of the cotter key. Now assemble the cabinet sides to the top panel, making sure the trimmed edge is to the front. Attach using the lag bolts provided in the hardware kit. Now attach the lower strong back between the sides using more lag bolts provided in the hardware pack. Now it's time to mount the bed to the wall. Using a stud finder, locate three wall studs to be attached to, one near the center of the bed and one to the right and left nearest the sides. Draw a vertical line with a pencil. This will appear above the top and below the upper strong back. Now it's time to attach to the wall using two and a half inch screws. Make sure you go through the strong back close to the top at the points where you previously marked with your stud finder. It's important that all three screws go directly into the studs because sheetrock and paneling alone aren't strong enough to hold up the bed. Now we're ready for the mattress tray and desk assembly. We start off by placing the tray on the floor with the finish face up. Mount tray ends to the tray with more lag bolts. Attach the brass locking assemblies to the inside of the bed end panels in the holes provided. 
using brass screws. Retract the pins for assembly clearance. Place the desk tray vertically on the tray assembly and attach with the triangle hinge plates, the sleeves and bolts on both ends. Loosely assemble the sleeves and bolts to the plate. Insert in the holes, attach remaining bolts, then tighten all of them. Now it's time to attach the barrier assembly. Bolt the barrier through the wood to washers and lock nuts to each ends of the desk. Tighten firmly, but leave enough slack to adjust the position a bit later. Do not apply screws to the flange holes just yet. Now it's time to attach the bed to the cabinets. Stand the cabinet up behind the tray and desk assembly and slide it into the position over the bed. Line up the trullion holes in the bed tray with the connecting thread holes at the upper end of the lever arm bracket mounted to the side panel. From behind the unit, slide the trullion sleeve and the bolt through the hole in the tray towards the side and screw it into the threaded hole in the lever arm bracket. Once both trullions are in place, use the 10 millimeter Allen wrench to firmly tighten the trullion bolts. Now it's time to connect the lever arm. Raise and lock the bed in the up position. Hold the desk wing and pull the lever arm down to the bearer. Then release to connect gently with the bearer. Now it's time to insert the mattress. Unloosen the strap, pull it back out of the way, slide the mattress into the tray, and then put the strap back over the mattress and buckle it in place on both sides. Take the excess strap and tuck it under one side of the mattress. This concludes the Wall Beds and More installation video for Westcott Designs Hidden Bed.